Yo, what up? It's your boy Macho. Today I'm bringing you a video about the AR build in Division 2 PTS Assault Rifle, just in case you don't know what AR is. But, uh, yo, I like it. It's a lot of different variations to this build. So, you know, just find yourself what you like, and I'll go over, uh, I'll try to explain my comments down below. I answer everything. So, you know, just let me know any questions you may have or anything you might see that, you know, you, we could improve or whatever. But, uh, I hope you enjoy the vid and let's get it. Yo, so what up boys? Yo, so some quick context. So these dudes right here, they were kind of like stream sniping, you know, cause they were in my chat, you know, harassing me, making me feel real uncomfortable. So yeah, man, just try not to do that to streamers. Yo, we're, we're humans too. And you know, I was being real nice to them. I played with the dudes before, you know, I told them GG and I was constantly getting threatened, man. But you know, I just played my game and, and it went back and forth, but they're not bad players, man, but, you know, make sure you're respecting uh, people and, you know, yeah, you already know. Let's get into the build, though. Here we go. Yeah. Uh. Yo, get it twisted. This rap is mine. All right, let's dive into this build. And uh, here we have two assault rifles, which is uh, what I like to use whenever I use any specific type of weapon. I like to use double, so like double LMG, you know, I'm crazy like that. But uh, here I have a AK. We have close and personal, uh, killing a target within seven meters grants 50% weapon damage, which is amazing. So if somebody comes up close, you're gonna hit them really hard with the AK. And then uh, we also have the P4, which is probably the best assault rifle along like aside like two other assault rifles. But uh, Ranger Talent for distance is kind of what I use this since it's pretty accurate at range. And then, you know, close range, I use the AK. Or uh, you could run like something with a higher fire rate like the CTAR if you want, which would uh, also work at a uh, close range. And the FAMAS is probably the best. Unfortunately, I don't have a FAMAS right now. I do on my main account, but this is the PTS, as you can see right here, PTS2. But um, yeah, any one of those assault rifles, in my opinion, are, are, are super dope. And here we have two True Patriot. So I'm gonna move on to the mask. This is uh, mainly for damage to armor. A lot of people are running armor, high armor, and you get that 10% multiplicative damage, which adds up pretty nice. And uh, here we have a low health row, I, I feel. I can get like around the 20k so you know you want to shoot for 20k but I, I i usually work with what i have right here we have a 6.5 crit chance i think you get up to eight and uh that's pretty cool we'll go to the knee pads and get the two, two patriots out the way we have uh damage to armor here once again as you know that's still only 10 percent multiplicative damage we have more crit chance right here and uh health armor on kill defensive mod always try to like use all your mods like no matter uh what the mod slot is that's uh unless you're like trying to go under five red offensive stats right here uh we have a, a healer guard book bag we have total armor and uh, we have some health you can also get like 40k health i believe on this if i'm not mistaken and then we have armor yo weapon damage uh you could get higher weapon damage not too much higher but this is as high as i could get efficient instead of on the ropes we'll go good with this build since we have eight we can't really run uh any other talents that would really work with this build and then we have vital using that for health I have a defensive mod with armor total armor those are real sweet and then uh skill power as a utility slot Fortunately, these always come with utility, which is really cool. And right here, we have some Alps Summit. You can really rock uh, whatever, you, whatever you're comfortable with. If you want something like this, you know, it's all up to you. Me personally, I like uh, the Assault and the Crit Hits that I'm getting back. And I'll show you my stat sheet real quick. I am getting 51% uh, Crit. So, you know, that, that kind of works pretty good. I'll get uh, some health back when I'm fighting other players. And over here, we could uh, add some attachments or some uh, mods, excuse me. And we will add 
we we'll go with this for now. Damage the armor. I have this. Uh, oh no, I, this would actually be better. Four percent assault rifle damage. Nice weapon damage and damage to armor. This is a sweet mod. All right, so we'll add that up. We'll go with the red. You know, we got to be fresh. One of the main things about the game is fashion. You know, you got to have that nice fashion. But we're rocking a Fenris chest for assault rifle damage, crit hit chance. Weapon damage and health. You could get a way higher health roll in this game right now. You could get like 40k on the chest for sure. I know this. I've been playing the PTS for a little bit. Berserk. I like Berserk personally, man. There's a lot of talents. Unstoppable force in the occupied dark zone is really strong. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's really strong. Okay, so that might be something you want to look into if you want to run a little bit more defense. I like to beam kit, so I try to run a little bit more uh, offensive stats. But I want to try uh, the 577 that some of my other friends are running, which it looks really strong with the assault. But I just want to try something a little bit different. We have a vitality, and uh, we have the weapon damage, as you saw. We have this mod, so we're looking good right here. We'll move on to the holster, which is the Raldi. And this is for some accuracy, just to land a few more shots. 14% crit chance, 5% uh, weapon damage, and then we have 2% uh, headshot damage and weapon damage in offensive mod. Uh, here, devastating is real nice with the build. And like I said, you could run uh, something else on the gloves if you want. Devastating is also nice, but that's totally up to you. And that kind of sums up the build. I hope this helps. I'm going to be working on more builds and I'm going to be making an alternate uh ar bill for you guys which is a dis different variation and uh thank you guys for watching the vid i appreciate you guys salute baby salute Yo, what up my people so here i'm going to show you the specialization and i'm running a survivalist right now for the assault rifle damage that's some cool other perks that i like to use from time to time but uh mostly just for the 15 percent assault rifle damage over here another class that is uh pretty cool is sharpshooter you get it for the headshot damage, uh, stability, and reload. And, you know, it's also pretty cool. It has some cool other perks. And a Demolitionist, one of my favorite, which is I use a lot for PvP when I run my LMG and uh, some other things. But right now, we're, we're just going to try out Survivalist if you haven't. I suggest you do. You may like it, and uh, you may want to keep it forever. But, yeah, uh, last thing I'll show you also is my stat sheet. And I hope you enjoyed the video, man. Let me know uh, in the comments once again what you liked and what you uh, think I could do better. But yeah, script is possibly what I'll be doing in the future. And right here we have about 66% damage overall, it seems. All weapon damage is 25. 41% uh, assault rifle damage. Pretty cool. I like it. 51 crit. And I'm rolling uh, some nice little damage on my weapons, I think enemy to damage the armor it's pretty cool but yeah thanks again for all uh, watching much love